Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. We're here tonight in Beverly Hills at the Costume Designers Guild Awards, which honors the achievement in costume design in TV, film, and commercials. Now, I want you to close your eyes for a minute and picture Kerry Washington, clad in all white, striding into her office, rallying her gladiators. Or Amy Adams, clad in a dress that goes down to there, channeling the sexiness and strength of the 70s. Or Jared Leto, dressed in a beautiful dress, breaking our hearts. These are just a couple of the iconic images from this year's nominees, and we'll be talking to their designers to find out why they are indeed a cut above the rest. Well, All right, I'm here with Janie Bryant, costume designer for Mad Men, and we're talking about Raquel Welch, who's out on the carpet. I know, I just took a, I'm like starstruck. I, <laughs> that never happens to me, but you know what? I mean, I have been researching her. Last year, she was such a huge, huge, huge inspiration for me, yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, well, I just I got obsessed with her because um, I can't even remember like what I was, you know, looking through, got, you know, pages and pages of magazines just for like fashion references. But, you know, she is so feminine and has such a curvy figure. And I was, you know, wanted to look at her to see like what she was wearing. Um, you know, when we finished season six, it was late 60s, and so I wanted to see what she was wearing during that period. And um, so, you know, I have her pinned up on my wall of inspiration at work everywhere. I love her. I can't believe that she's on the carpet. That's wow. incredible. We've got to get her down here for you to talk to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being so goofy. <laughs> oh, I, one of the things that's amazing about an event like this is you actually get to meet the people who inspire you. Yeah, I know. It's true. It's true. I know one year at the Emmys, I was on the red carpet with Leslie Caron, and I about had a heart attack. My, my ballet teacher always said, oh, Janie, you are my Leslie Caron. And so when she was on the red carpet with me, I was like, oh, my God, there she is. Who knew? A little girl from Cleveland, Tennessee. But here I am. What, wait, Cleveland, Tennessee? I am from Cleveland, Tennessee, yes. Yes. And somehow you have managed to transport Mad Men back into an incredible world. So many people are inspired by the costumes. So tell me tell me where we're going next. Uh, well, I can't tell you. <laughs> I thought maybe I could get her to slip it out. Hey, I would not want to ruin it for you. No, no. If, okay, so let's go back a little bit. If we're going to talk about getting the quintessential look from last season, if you're, you know, you're watching the show and you say, I, I want to look like that, what do you suggest for the everyday watcher out there? Oh, I would say it's all about uh, mini dresses, mini, mini, mini dresses, like Megan, and uh, brocades, and a great pantsuit. I mean, if you remember Megan in her amazing tunic and pants, like the big palazzo pants that she wore for the New Year's Eve episode, uh, that's one of my favorite costumes with the bejeweled neckline. So chic. I love that. And how is it, tell me a little bit about the process of working with the actors. When do they see the clothes? I mean, because clearly style is such a huge part of the show. Um, well... You know, it's all different depending on, you know, what uh, the script requires and, you know, how much time it takes me to prepare for uh, my fitting. And, you know, I work closely with my um, co-costume designer, Tiffany White, and my assistant costume designer, Phoenix Mello. And, uh, you know, it just really varies on how many costume changes there are going to be. And, you know, I'll have my fitting with the actors and then I have my creative uh, costume design discussions with the creator of the show, Matthew Weiner. And what is it like to work with Matthew Weiner? How would you describe his his collaborative personality? Uh, he's, you know, passionate. I mean, I, I love him for his passion, and I love him for being so excited by the costume design. I mean, it's amazing to work with with someone like that, you know? I mean, he has a true appreciation for costume design, how costume design tells the story of his characters, and it's it's been an amazing experience working with him. I, I love it. Yeah. And one of the things I love about the show is that it really celebrates the curvy woman. I mean, you get to see women look like women and not just waifs. So what's it like being able to costume design that? Um, well, I mean, as a costume designer, it's all about working with different shapes and sizes. It's not just, it's not about working with a model. Um, it is about working with men, women, children, everybody from any size imaginable. And so, I mean, I, I think that that's just part of the craft, which makes us very smart and knowledgeable. <laughs> yes, we've heard a lot that costume designers are often like therapists, so. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, you think so? Well, I haven't said that, but a lot of the designers who have come have said, you know, we play a lot of roles in the dressing room, and sometimes therapist is one of them. That is true. That is true. Therapist, mother, friend, sister, aunt, grandmother. I don't know. I will say, too, what does it feel like? You know, obviously, Don Draper has a huge following. What does it feel like to have um, unleashed this man onto the world who so many women are going crazy for? You know what I think is so amazing is that people love Don Draper because he's gorgeous. And I am I always say, yes, but he is a horrible. I mean, he drinks, he smokes, he sleeps around. He's like the worst man. You you would never want him for a boyfriend, ever, ever. I'm like, you just like, like him for what he looks like. And I think that that is such a crazy and like amazing statement of the psyche, the human psyche and how that work and how that exterior just like makes all everything terrible fade away and like it melts it away i'm like wait people no he's a terrible boyfriend he's a terrible husband but he looks good you put him in the right suit and it also it's all okay i know i know well proper tailoring i mean what can i tell you <laughs> well you look fantastic thank you for talking with us so nice to talk to you thank you so much <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. Thanks so much for watching our coverage of the Costume Designers Guild Awards. If you like what you saw, click like. And if you want to see more, make sure to hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.